Uh, all right, last uh, point here. So you answered most of the questions. If you were a brand new trainer right now, where would you be learning from? And um, what was your what would be your number one or number two pieces of advice you'd give them? You need to learn psychology, number one. Like, yes, there's that dog and we have that drive to like be like, ah, I want to get into the dog industry. But there is some deep science to it that isn't, always acknowledge for younger people and they don't notice that like okay treat training like there is there's a why there's a there's a why to a lot of that stuff and if you don't find somebody that's going to teach you that why properly Mm -hmm. you're going to be missing out on a lot right it's like taking Mm -hmm. psych 101 like if you were to go to college for dog training like that would probably be one of your first courses in your first semester. The textbook yeah. bullshit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, and like, yeah, it's textbook book bullshit, but like it's important. It's necessary. And, yeah, yeah. you know, you can solve way more problems than you think you when you foundation. like, when you understand like, you know, like you talked about like learning theory and outprint conditioning and stuff, but like when you take the time and really understand like the deep science to classical conditioning, mm-hmm. like it's you're learning about these chains of association and how you can just unplug all these things and rewire it. It's really cool. Um, and then, you know, so taking the time to understand human psychology will help you understand dog psychology a lot more yeah. and getting your hands dirty. You've mm-hmm. got to work. You got to grab dogs. Yeah. You got to grab the dogs and learn how to handle them. Where did you start? You started as a kennel tech. What'd you say? If you want to call it that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a kennel neck dog trainer, daycare yeah. attendant, groomer, yeah. Yeah. customer service, a, professional salesman. <laughs> yeah, like exactly. The, the dog you know. training boot camp. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. what I call it when I'm, you describe it. Like you went to boot camp. And I love the idea of being being comfortable with your mistakes. Yeah. Like I think you get a lot of trainers are like, oh, this happened, so I'm just not meant to be a dog trainer. Or like, you know, I'm not you know, they, you have those issues and those hurdles, but mistakes are a great thing. We learn from them and we have to continue that. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and I would say those two things and self care. So you don't get burnt out mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. like this industry can take you over very quickly. It's and easy to like, grind. you can, yeah, you could eat it up and be like, I love, I'm a dog trainer. I love, I'm dog tr- working with dogs every day. And you'll want to do that work. You'll want to go overboard, but like it can, drown you pretty quick yeah right yeah. um and you're only as your dog training is only as good as you are mm-hmm. like yeah you are yeah. the product so yeah. take care of the product yeah okay. um i have a few yeah go for it man. um i did i'm two three years in now mm-hmm. okay and i just want you guys mentioned like who you learn from like i feel very blessed to have tom like mm-hmm. to have guided me to say like read this this is what this is what you should learn watch these things like i've watched everything on lerberg you and, power yeah for training with food yeah. <laughs> all of that like i still it, to this day the number one resource i tell new dog trainers to check out is that dvd it's power bizarre how good it is it's bizarre i mean it can apply to everything yep and mm. it's it's crazy so like that getting a mentor probably having someone to guide you yeah. through it i'm mm-hmm. that's huge i think that's key that was yeah. my biggest thing yeah. is like finding a couple people in the industry that ask. i knew that i could ask questions yeah you know? just ask yeah. like don't, just find someone what i wanted to say too is don't restrict yourself to just a dog training mentor Ooh, when yeah. you're getting into business and doing this stuff not just so much business there's like you know i had a uh, business advisor when we started yeah. and he mm-hmm. helped me set up to get an accountant, get a bookkeeper, get yep. a lawyer. This is yeah. what you should do. Your local chamber of commerce. Essential. As, like, gosh. Yeah. Your local chamber of commerce will help you with everything. They That's good to know. They want you to mm-hmm. be a business owner. Yeah. And they will do it for free. Our local chamber of commerce. I don't know why I have to say the whole yeah. thing. Our chamber of commerce. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Got me a business advisor for free. The Mm -hmm. Small Business Administration um, paid for the QuickBooks um, classes that I took. Mm -hmm. Um, They helped me set up my QuickBooks. They helped us uh, get our contracts, find a lawyer, all of those things. Like... I would say, yeah, those get a mentor for like, you got to look at dog training, like business a business. What well, it, it is a, a business. Yeah. Right? And yeah. Dog training. yeah. I think there's a lot of people like me to where it's like, they're unfortunate to not have K mm-hmm. and they met, they don't do all those things. Like, and, and nothing will crush your business success. quicker yeah. than not having like, your ducks in a row. Like me, I was just like, Oh, I get an LLC and I could start training dogs yeah, yeah, yeah. and they'll tax me later. I or asked something, Tom you know? and I met him. I'm like, where are your books? And he's like, yeah, yeah. what are you talking what, what about? Do you mean yeah. <laughs> so, you know, definitely. Yeah. Everything's case. And I would say, 
take that advice yeah. if you want to do it as a business. And like, again, I have the fortunate opportunity to where like, I don't have to so much worry about that. We definitely have to discuss it and stuff, yeah. but like I have that opportunity to train dogs, but not a lot of dog trainers have that opportunity to just play with dogs all day. Yeah. yeah there right. are services though. I know in the beginning it's very hard to you, afford those things, yes. but you can af- get there are initial investments that you should make that you won't make as much money early on, but you won't mm-hmm. have to worry about those things. Like, listen, like I am not the most knowledgeable and all that kind of stuff, but I have a team that is mm-hmm. very knowledgeable of those yeah. kind of things like that I can rely assistant. on. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, I have, so I have, uh, obviously my CPA who is unbelievable, yeah. dots his eyes, crosses his T's and he's way more expensive than doing it through turbo tax. And he's way more expensive than any of these other places, but I know I will never have to worry Issue. about anything from yeah. that kind of stuff. I have a internal bookkeeper that handles all of the day-to-day quarterly payments and all of the uh, unemployment and CCA and all of that kind of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. And all I need to do at that point is just get my updates from them every once in a while, get my profit and losses from them so that I could review them and make sure we're not losing money yeah. and be aware of what's going on in the business mm-hmm. uh, and write checks. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's know? awesome. You know, mm-hmm. like, so, And then you can focus on your... So I can focus yeah. on building the business at that point. You gotta exactly. work yeah. on your business and in your business. Yes. And just one thing I wanted to add is mm-hmm. don't just go to seminars. Like, go try to find a business that yeah. you want to work for for a minute and work under them. And you, why is that? Because, first What's of all... What's wrong with seminars? Where do I start? Um, <laughs> it's not like real I, I wouldn't life. say seminars are bad, but there's... you a, hit it right there. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not, not real. real. It's not life. real life. It's not no, like it's day not. day what and, you're going to deal with. Yeah. You know, like, granted, there's great information at seminars. Mm-hmm. Like, there, there definitely are particular ones I would suggest to go to and see particular people. But at the same time, getting hands-on full-time and not making it your full responsibility to run a business, do dog training, and you be the central person of, like, okay, if this dog fails, it's on me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, having a team to work with so yeah. you could learn on how to troubleshoot and deal with those things, yeah. right? Like making too many mistakes mm-hmm. in the beginning are going to mm-hmm. put you down. And then if you're not in that situation, you have to like consult with other people that and other trainers that aren't there to see what you're dealing with, right? Mm-hmm. Rather than, I like the dynamic you have and that's again where we send a lot of our client, like aggressive people that are reaching out to us to you is because you guys have a team and everybody's learning together on how to develop skills to solve those problems yep. mm-hmm. and you know that's a ride that everybody should take and be a team member to learn how to do those things with other people mm-hmm. you know yeah. Yeah. the dogs mm-hmm. for yeah. sure when yeah. people ask like how did tom get into this and i'm like he got his hands dirty like he yeah. was in different and you know you learned the whole the industry. whole thing. everything not just the dog tra- you learn <laughs> yeah. everything about the industry yeah, yeah. you know you have to. Taking- if you're gonna have your own business you know yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. With I'm I didn't like the job, but I'm thankful for the job at the grooming facility because I had to deal mm-hmm. with clients and like problem solve and all of yeah. that stuff. So, mm-hmm. yeah, and hell yeah, it makes a difference. Yeah, and don't put yourself down. Don't put yourself like, down too much. You know, the <laughs> dogs go aren't going to judge day. you at the end of the day. The people aren't judging you at the end of the day because <laughs> you're trying to do a really great service yeah. in this yeah. world. To the take hardest care of dogs. and most rewarding industry. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. Guys, this was awesome. 